morning guys how's it so i did a post on facebook about the overlander 210 from desert products and i actually just want to do a video and go a bit more in depth about this tent um because i'm seriously chuffed with the tent um, so far to date it has been the most amazing tent that i've slept in and there's a lot of simple features about it that make it amazing i mean if you just look at it now you look at the durability of the tent you look at those massive latches stainless steel latches over there got your stainless steel ladder mounts you look at how well and how sturdy it is connected to the actual vehicle and you look at these little bolts here these bolts are so that you can actually see them on that side and i'll do a video you'll see in the clip that these are actually pre-made so that you can put awning brackets on over here and awning brackets there so that your awning now sits on the tent so it's actually been done on my vehicle on that side where it is a desert product awning bracket for the alu cab 270 degree awning and it sits on there and then again you look at the two grab handles you've got this rails on the side and you look at the aerodynamics in the front of the tent and that was a concern for me because you know putting a rooftop tent on a lot of them are very block shaped and you're hitting the wind and you can actually feel how this as a gust of wind comes i mean last week when we left tank where the wind was so strong and you feel if you had a block tent you'd feel that but because of the gussets on top right and because of the way it's angled the wind seems to just flow over i never had a major difference in consumption which i expect that actually did much busier in consumption because i drove differently but also i expected that i was going to get this heavy i was driving against the wind it was going to slow the vehicle down but because of that tapered front you really get the air going over the, the, the unit then you see over here you've got anderson points you've got one on this side and one that side that is where you basically plug the power from your vehicle into here so that you can run all the accessories inside the tent which i'll show you now which is the usb charging and the interior lights i'm very very chuffed with the tent but let me get up top there and then show you how easily i open the tent um, so i stand up here obviously because i'm not the tallest guy in the world but it comes with two carabines i prefer to put padlocks on because um you leave bedding in and people are just malicious at the end of the day you never know but i mean i look at it again everything on here stainless steel solid grab handles so uh, let's pop it open look at that it's proper really proper so it dust seals really well also because of these massive latches so now we've got it unhitched and let's just push it up and as you'll notice on the end there you'll see that you've got two gas straps that lifts it up so i mean this is one of the reasons why we look at rooftop tents for the mere fact that you want to pull up to a spot when you're traveling from point a to point b and to point c you don't necessarily always want to carry a camper trailer or actually put your foot on tent and sit there for hours and you know so this is where the, the, the comfort and the ease comes in with these tents so the ladder comes with it the ladder does come with it in this handy ladder bag ladder, ladder bag so um very nice telescopic ladder also so i'm going to get the ladder out and you'll see something that they've designed on the ladder and i'm going to jump down quickly and show you is that it doesn't have round feet or anything it's actually got flat areas to put your shoes and your feet on i mean one of the things to get up a rooftop tent at night and to have rounded platforms it's very uncomfortable if you've ever had a rooftop tent you'll know how uncomfortable that is to not have a solid platform so if you look at it it's a very solid ladder again stainless steel mounts everything so let us here's a little trick also that um Eben from 4x4 mega world showed me that when you put these tents up these ladders up you first pull from the top now you go to the next one now you go to the next one now you go to the next one and then finally your last one and that prevents the buckling because now you've basically compressed two steps over there and you've got the rest instead of having a short gap over there so i'm going to get up into the tent and i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about so i closed this when i used it last because it was just I did because I just didn't want it to be flapping around when I close the actual tent itself. So you look also you've got the little lip that goes over the zips that stops dust and all of those things going into it. So I'm just going to do the customary triangle fold up. It's also one of the things if you want to fold up anything really well you fold it into a little samosa here at the bottom and you 
basically just start rolling. I'm going to tie it up and then I'm going to show you some of the extra features that I also like about the tent itself. Oh, here we go. So, if you look, I'm going to flip this out to show you something. You've got your netting, which is actually your mozzie proof netting. It's not a big space it's actually a small gap so it allows airflow but it doesn't allow the mechis to come in a lot of the meshes you'll find will stop mosquitoes but the mechis will still get into the tent this really stops it and then you've obviously got this and then you've got your cover right your fly sheet that can be detached by the means of zips if you don't want to and you can roll it completely up but we're not going to do that one of the things that i also love is this is a full-on tent that can allow bedding in it you'll see my pillow still in my duvet my electric blanket everything still stays inside of the tent but there's another annex that i want to show you um, yeah, let's just pull it out so this annex over here this annex let me come down the ladder and show you a bit about this annex this annex you put up over there that covers your ladder and you can do it on the other side the reason why i've set up mine on this side is obviously for the fact that i've got my awning on that side so let's open it up and um, let's set it up just trying to get my bearings to as to where is what before i actually set this one up ah this goes like that and this goes like that so this adjustable section this adjustable section goes at the furthest end there and this one goes here and i'll show you now how it sets up i'm going to swing my cap to the back so basically if you get up top here you'll see there's a nipple in there that goes in there you line it up to there and you lean down to here let me just adjust it a bit you can always pull it tight there we go pull it tight okay so now what you're basically going to do is you've got these arms so you see you've got the short arm over here you'll notice you've got multiple arms you've got three arms um, I'm looking for the third one, which I think I tucked under the mattress. There we go. So you'll see all three of them, the same size. There's one that's slightly longer, and the one that is slightly longer is the one that you put over here. And let me show you where this one goes. So you'll see this little bracket here. Put that in there. Also another stainless steel thing, plonk that in there, and then you've got a bit of a cover. But now you're not complete, so what you need to do is this goes in through there, that goes in, it holds already there. But where you can feel the difference is you can feel the difference in the thickness of the folds. This one is slightly thinner than the other two because this one is for that annex, and then you've got the thicker one that goes there. But I'm going to jump into the tent quickly and I'm going to set it up so just you guys can watch from this angle to see. So let me get in and set up a bit better. So what I'm doing here is just plonking this one in and I'm going to plonk this one up there. There we go. And that's the one we've already got that side which I'm just going to put there. So there you have it. Let me jump up quickly and explain to you what you see. So there you can see we've got the annex set up now. We've got the front fly sheet which is adjustable. You can see it's not too taut. I can pull it taut. We've got that section set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the power lead. So this power lead, Anderson to cigarette lighter point, but I've taken off the cigarette lighter point and I put it Anderson to Anderson because my vehicle is set up completely Anderson. So that one into there and then 
Let's just grab one of the Anderson points that are on the lithium battery. And I mean, this cable is so thin that when I was using it, you're able to actually close your, your lid or your door and still power it up. So now I'm going to do a little walk around. I'm going to get in the tent. I'm going to show you what's inside the tent and what makes the tent so comfortable. And the insulation, the mattress, all of the small things on the tent that just, for me, are set it apart from other tents. It is a heavy tent. It's 95 kilograms, but you don't feel it that much. And I think it is worth it for the amount of comfort that you get. You know, that price you're paying for the weight of that tent. And the weight on the vehicle is, is so much worth it for the comfort, the level of ease, the size of the tent. The size is massive. I mean, I'm an average height person. I always say average height. I'm not sure. I'm 1.7. And I'm extremely comfortable in here, you know, in other roofs. So I keep my flexo power in, on top there that powers my electric blanket. And a lot of the other rooftop tents, when you put it in the corner, you want to put your clothes in the corner. Suddenly you've lost so much space because your clothes are there, your flexo power is there. You've got your laptop bag laying, you've got your munchies, whatever else, and then suddenly your, your sleeping space is diminished. Um, not with this tent though. I had the flexo power, I had the laptop bag, I had munchies. It was just myself, but I mean, I didn't at one time feel that I lost space now because of these things, because it's so big. And also if you look at the way the tent opens up in front, which I'll show you also, it allows you to be able to sleep with your head at both ends. A lot of the tents are so narrow at where the, the hinges meet that you actually can't put your head at that end. Where with this tent, it is so high up over there that you could actually sleep that side if you wanted to. Um, so I don't feel that I lost any space. That's the big thing for me. I feel, and also, there's so much storage space in there. I want to show you the storage space. The storage space is amazing. The little tables, the charging tables, the laptop tables, the built-in chargers. There's a lot of thought that's going into this. Um, and again, thought proves that people have are indeed and they have gone out and that's I'm a big believer in that is you want to buy a product that has been R and D that has been out in the wild that it's not a guy that or a company that came up with an idea put it to market without really testing it and you become the guinea pig you want to know that the company has actually gone out multiple times and changed little tweaks and that and then given you the best product that they can so let's get inside and let me show you what it looks like inside otherwise I'll talk all day about this thing So excuse my messy, humble abode. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. So let's get in the tent. So let's look around and uh, I want to show you through some things. So over here again, you've got your mozzie fly net thing and then you've got a cover. Same this side, same over there. I've got a light up there that changes between white and amber. And then this is the very interesting side of the whole tent so let me switch it on so as you'll see you've got a light up top here that goes either off from medium or very bright got that light then you've got this feature which is a laptop table that closes up all the way to there you can drop it down right and you can also have carabines that you adjusted up until this height so you could sit here uh, cross legs and work which I'll show you then you've got these two detachable bags so these bags you could basically put in your glasses anything you don't want laying around in the tent glasses uh, extra cables your watch anything that's a bit sensitive or valuable that you don't want um, laying in there then you've got another table down here that is basically and I'll show you is the reason why this is here it's for your cell phone so you put your cell phone on there because over here is your charging point. So if you look, you'll see you've got USB-C and USB, as well as a voltage meter of your battery that you're running power from, which is my lithium battery down there. Then you have cigarette lighter point, 12 volt. You've got all these little add-on molly plate things where you can tie things. You, know, you can do a Bluetooth speaker here, do your laptop there, do another Bluetooth speaker, have a whole cinema going inside the tent. Um, same on this side for your partner. Same laptop table over there cell phone table down there also usb and usb c but then on this side you've got an anderson point then you've got these pouches that fairly big pouches i mean you could put your shoes your clothes whatever into here it also comes with a tent ceiling kit which is laying in here that you can use at a later stage and let's just open it up 
So if the tent ever does get compromised, it comes with a brush, it comes with a liquid to seal the tent. Because I mean, it does happen. I've bought brand new dome tents and you sit with a situation where there's just a leak by the zip or, you know, it hasn't been put under a hose pipe when they bolted. So that we plonk back in there. I like these little handy tie points, man. You know, you're always able to tie things. But let us just go and I want to show you something. So you see this light up top here? You see there's a white button and there's an orange button on or off. But here is the thing that I love so much. So you are now in bed, right? And if you really flip down here and you look underneath there, you can actually see a switch and there's one on each side. So at nights when you're laying and you flip a switch, you can actually kill the lights inside the tent. You'll see they're both off. And you put it on and they're both on. You can switch each light up individually at the light. So that means at nights if that top light is on and you want to go sleep, you don't have to stand up and actually switch that light off. That override is amazing. So let's just put the lights back on. I want to show you something else. So you look at this space over here. And this is your foot space. This is where your feet would be. But I'm going to show you something quickly. So this is what I was talking about. Normally in a tent, this area is not an area that is hospitable. But because of the height of this, you can actually layer and not knock your head when you get up. Because a lot of tents you layer and if you have to wake up in the middle of the night. So this is amazing because if you look at the view that I have right now, I'm laying looking out at the forest. So in a lot of ways, this is actually the side I wouldn't mind sleeping in. Because to wake up in the morning and you zip it open and you're looking out on a lake or you're looking out on the ocean, for me that is such a liquor thing. And then again, you could have your cell phones charging here, you've got power, you've got so many attributes on this side, which just makes it... I actually want to take a dose here. Um, which makes it just so comfortable. But let's go up and look at something else quickly. So if you look at the, the roof also, you'll see it's a honeycomb finish. Um, and you will find underneath the mattress, you'll find that it's carpeted. Right? So all of these things, and you'll see the other switches also over there. All of these things help with your insulation. Because that is what keeps you warm. And like I said, I was using this tent and I didn't need... To switch on my electric blanket and then we're going to look at the mattress this is a 75 mil high density foam mattress which makes you sleep like a baby which i literally sleep like a baby so overall i'm very chuffed with the tent very very chuffed i think again like i said i think that henry and dion and all the guys at desert products and 4x4 mega world have really put a lot of effort and time into constructing a usable and a functional product so like I said to you, the thing that I love so much is, and I'll show you the position that you could actually do it in, Ugh. is you could literally sit here, and I mean as a, as a content creator or someone, you could sit here, do your work, edit your videos, do your things, fold it up when you're done, and then carry on with the rest of your trip. Because I mean, for us that create content, putting out content while we're out in the wild is one of the most, I wouldn't say important things, but it's something that we want to do. We want to make sure that, you know, we're not sitting awkward. We're not sitting in a tent where the laptop's laying around, it's falling, or it's overheating because it's on a mattress or on a comforter. We want a solid, flat surface so that our laptops and our camera gear can lay and charge. So, for example, I can charge my cameras on those tables and my GoPros and all, and they're safe. They're not going to be falling and overheating and the cable gets unplugged. And that is something, as an overlander, we, you know, as your parents would say to you when you were young, everything on its place and a place for everything. So with a setup like this, you have that availability to have everything on its place and a place for everything. So I'll keep like my charging cables there, charge my cameras, laptop. Those are the things that I'm after. So really, really chuffed. So I'm just, I'm going to keep, I'm going to stop now. Otherwise I'm going to talk for the next hour about the tent. I actually think I'm just going to take a dose in the tent. But guys, thank you for watching. If you have any queries about the tent, uh, contact Desert Products. Uh, the tent is available. It is for sale. Um, there is a smaller version, which I think is the RT1 or the hard shell. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll have the right words at the bottom. But the tent is available. And it's amazing. It's a definite choice if you really seriously want to be out in the wild and be comfortable. I think comfort is the number one thing. And one of the things in the post that I did on Facebook before I go 
was that I went to Tanqua last year and I was ill prepared because it was my first time in Tanqua and I never enjoyed that that week in there because I slept in my cruiser on a board with a mattress it was uncomfortable I hated it I was like I'm never going back to Tanqua and this year Dion and Hendy said listen we want to put the tent on the van for the weekend go and go use it tell us what you think and I went with it and completely revolutionized and changed my weekend away because no matter how long the drive was, it was a long drive because of the wind, no matter how long the drive was, no matter how busy the day was, to get into a comfortable space and lay as if you were at home. It's just killer. I mean, you can go on the best holidays. I'm sure many of you can attest. You can go on the best holidays, but if you sleep crap, then your holiday is not the same. You wake up in the morning with a sore neck, your back's not licker, you're in a foul mood. You sleep licker, you can have a licker day. But anyway, guys, cheers. Gershwin here from Tales of Valor. Thank you for watching and thank you for taking the time out. If you have any questions, drop me a message in the comments or just contact Desert Products.